Ladies and gentlemen, ready to proceed with the evening show. You know, it's been said many times that the music business is part of the entertainment business. If you can do both, you got all the bases covered. And this next band does. Your host band, no stranger to anybody. Please welcome the Dry Bench Fire Squad. Could be a banjo player. 
player's mic. You use a bass player's mic. A lot of people have been wondering if mine's bigger than Peter Rowan's. So I decided to wear it out here so people could. <laughs> you think Peter Rowan would agree to speak into a bass player's mic? If it was for the good of you think Ricky Skaggs would agree to speak into a bass player's mic? Well, I'm glad to do it. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just glad to do it. Charlie, would you like to have my mic? <laughs> I don't think it Try my mic. <laughs> A lot of people. Dead. Can you hear this mic okay? Is this mic okay? Uh, would you work on this mic? We've got another act coming out after we're done here. We want everybody to hear them. <laughs> Is this mic here okay? was a mixed review on this mic. Yes! Can you hear this? Let Mary Jo sing through it! How about this mic here? All right, for those of you in the back who couldn't hear, I did announce the news, and that is that OJ has not yet found a real killer. <laughs> Sorry to report. But he has rededicated himself and mentioned that if he's on a golf course anywhere... Welcome you to the Winter Hall Festival. Oh, tears all fill my eyes. I'm happy in my soul. I'm thinking of those friends who walk on streets of gold. Since Jesus called.
on the banjo, Bobby Mayer.
coming to the festival, be safe. Well, I've always wanted to play in a band with a good mandolin player, and by gosh, I'm getting to now. This fellow's name is Brian Aldridge, and he, <laughs> just for you, uh, Bluegrass Effects the Anatos, this is a 1925 Fern, and he come into possession of it about two, three months ago. He says about two weeks after he got this great mandolin he'd been looking for all his life, he landed a guitar job. <laughs> But I want you to hear what a good 1925 mandolin sounds like, so we'll get Bobby to start one off of here as fast as he can go, and then Brian will probably speed it up. <laughs> to answer the phone and, and now do all the hard work and organize a festival and so just by anything you want to know you have to ask Lisa Houston she's the one that knows it and she says she's going to come up and sing this song well, this would be a big thrill for me for somebody to get to sing with uh, Lisa we... <laughs> how close can you stand it darling a lot of people usually ask how far away can they stand from me. <laughs> how far away can we get? <laughs> you got a lot to learn about professional music, dog. <laughs> but uh, I'm now finished making a speech about you. You see a lot of these buttons around says I'm not Lisa. But she doesn't have one. <laughs> maybe maybe they could adjust. You want to sing it one more? 
Okay, we'll be in G-sharp or E-flat for those of you playing along at home. <laughs> Just like a hillbilly. 